how many stars are there? How big they are? How far they are? Where they go away in daytime? Relax, Myra. I will tell you about stars. Stars together form a cluster. Millions of star clusters together make a galaxy. The name of our galaxy is the Milky Way. Stars are huge balls of hot gases. They are very hot and give out heat and light in the space. Stars appear small as they are very far away from the Earth. Many stars together form a pattern in the sky. A group of stars which appear to form a pattern is known as constellation. Do you know? The brightest star in the night sky is Sirius. It is 25 times as bright as the sun. Sun is also a star. It seems incredibly larger and brighter as compared to all other stars to us because it is very much closer to the earth than any other stars. The sun is made up of hot gases. Its surface temperature is about 5500 degrees Celsius. A planet is like a big ball of rocks which move around the sun on a fixed path called orbit. Planets do not give out their own heat and light. Including our Earth, there are eight planets which move around the sun. These planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. A celestial object that moves around the planet is called Moon. All planets except Mercury and Venus have their own moons. The Earth has only one natural moon. The Sun, planets and their moons form the solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are the inner planets. They are mainly made up of rocks and iron. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are the outer planets. They are mainly made up of frozen gases. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system nearest to the sun. It revolves around the sun in just 88 days. It is very hot during the day and very cold during night. It does not have any moon. Venus is the second planet in order of distance from the sun between Mercury and the earth. It is the brightest and hottest planet of our solar system. It can be seen in morning and in the evening as well. Hence, it is also called morning and evening star. It does not have any moon. The Earth is the third planet in the solar system. It has one moon. The Earth is neither too hot nor too cold. It also has water and air. Because of the presence of these features, life exists on it. Mars is the fourth planet in order of distance from the Sun between the Earth and Jupiter. It is covered with red dust and so it appears red. Because of this, it is also known as red planet. It has two moons. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. It is the fifth planet in order of distance from the Sun. It is large enough to hold more than 1300 Earth-like planets in terms of volume inside it. It has more than 63 moons. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system. It is the sixth planet in order of distance from the Sun. It has 62 known moons. Saturn has the most spectacular ring system of all our solar system's planet. It is made up of seven rings with several gaps and divisions between them. Uranus is the third largest planet in the solar system. It is the seventh in order of distance from the Sun. It revolves in tilted axis. It takes 84 years for one revolution around the Sun. It has 27 moons. Neptune is the eighth planet in order of distance from the Sun. In this planet, cold winds, which are faster than a flying plane, blow. It is a bright blue planet. It has 13 moons. Amazing fact! Jupiter is the fastest spinning planet in our solar system. Do you know? Originally, Pluto was considered a planet, but now, because of its small size and mass, it is placed in a separate category called Dwarf Planet. Long ago, there was no Earth at all. Scientists believe that the Earth started as a large ball of burning gases. These became cooler during the spinning of the Earth for millions of years. 
as it cooled it became hard and the surface of the earth became a crust with wrinkles the wrinkles became the mountain ranges water of the rain collected into the low lying places and slowly became oceans seas rivers and lakes below the crust a thick layer of mantle is present it is made up of a mixture of rocks and metals the innermost part of the earth is called core which is extremely hot it is divided into inner core and outer core the inner core is a ball of hot solid iron the outer core is of the thick molten iron deep beneath the crust there is a reservoir of molten rock called magma Sometimes this magma is forced up outside the surface of the earth as a liquid through the weak points called cracks in the form of volcano. The liquid that comes out of it is known as lava. Do you know Olympus Mons, a large shield volcano on the planet Mars? It stands almost 3 times as tall as Mount Everest's height above the sea level. The earth is moving all the time. it shows two different types of movement namely rotation and revolution the earth spins on its axis the axis is an imaginary line which passes through north and south pole of the earth it is slightly tilted the spinning movement of the earth is called rotation the earth completes its one rotation in 24 hours rotation of the earth causes day and night there is another imaginary line called the equator runs along the central bulge of the earth separating the northern half from the southern half the half of the globe towards north pole is called northern hemisphere and the half of the globe towards south pole is known as southern hemisphere do you know the longest day of the year is 21st june the shortest day of the year is 22nd december the earth also moves around the sun this movement of the earth is called revolution The earth completes one revolution in 365 one fourth days. The revolution of the earth and tilt in the earth's axis causes change of season. When northern hemisphere is towards the sun it receives more sunlight therefore it has summer season. During this period the southern hemisphere is away from the sun and so it has winter season in the similar way. When the northern hemisphere is away from the sun it is winter season in northern hemisphere and summer season in southern hemisphere satellites are the objects that revolve around a planet in a fixed orbit the moon is a natural satellite of our planet earth scientists are also launching many artificial satellites man made to get a lot of information through them The Russians launched the first artificial satellite Sputnik 1 in the year 1957. Since then, many countries have launched their satellites into space. The Indians launched artificial satellite Aryabhatta into space on 19 April 1975. Some other important satellites of India are Rohini, Chandrayaan 1, Bhaskara, and Insat series. Let us summarize. Stars are huge balls of gases. They give out their own light and heat. Planets move around the sun and they do not give out their own light and heat. The earth consists of three layers: crust, mantle, and core. Rotation of the earth causes day and night. Revolution of the earth and the tilt in earth's axis cause change in 